This video is an overview of the Formula E attack mode implemented by Studio 397. The following features are included. Arm attack mode as an assignable control. The control is easily assignable in the UI to your wheel, gamepad, or keyboard. Custom HUD with battery icon and regen indication. We've replaced the fuel pump icon with a battery icon. The fuel indicator turns blue when in regen. A sequential halo light animation turns on when in attack mode. Here's a demonstration of what the lights look like in action. From the side, and again from the front. Animated attack mode arrows are shown on track. They are visible on external TV cameras for broadcast and during replay and live mode. Here we can see what the arrows look like on track from a track side camera. And as seen from above, from a different angle, from another track side camera. Next we will look at the session parameters that are specific to each session. Practice, qualification, and race. In a practice session, all power levels are available, attack zone and armings are unlimited. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I am toggling all available power levels. Attack mode is available already starting on the outlap. In a qualification session, all power levels are available, however, attack zone and armings are unavailable. As you can see, I'm again toggling all available power levels. Fast forward to the attack zone. The attack zone and qualification is disactivated and not available. Let's look at the race session. The attack zone is available. Armings are limited to five total. Once armed, you have five seconds to enter the attack zone. The maximum power level available is 200 kilowatts when not in boost. During attack mode, a boost of 35 kilowatts becomes available. Switching energy levels is not available while in attack mode. The 35 kilowatts of extra boost is available for 30 seconds. At the end of the attack mode, energy levels revert to the previously used level. Attack mode must be used three times in the race or you will be disqualified. Let's first look at the power level restriction during a race session. As you can see, I'm trying to toggle the fuel here past the number 8, which is 200 kilowatts in the HUD. Fast forward to the attack zone. I'm on my first lap, and I'm going to attempt to go through the attack zone. As you can see, I've armed, and I've gone through, and attack mode is disarmed because attack mode is not available on my first lap. Fast forward to my third lap, and I will again attempt to go through the attack mode. I've armed, I've gone through, attack mode is now available. As you can see, power levels are now blocked during the 30 seconds of attack mode. Now I'm going to fast forward to the end of the race, keeping in mind that I have used all of my five armings and have not gone through the attack zone three times. As you can see, I am disqualified at the end of the race. Finally, here's a look at all of the adjustable settings for the Formula E attack zone. For the attack mode, we can adjust the power level, time duration, minimum activations required, maximum armings, and the arming duration. The maximum power levels can also be limited per session, practice, qualifying, warm-up, and in race. Last, we have energy consumption multipliers. These are scalable race times in five-minute increments from 45 minutes to 10 minutes. 